Hi everyone, this is Lin Meng from China Mobile. Thank you very much for joining today's session. In this session, I will mainly talk about the requirements of network slice management. Our open source practice in LFN ONAP community and the roadmap of network slice intelligence. Three GPP has defined what is a network slice. A network slice is a logical network that provides specific network capabilities and network characteristics. This is also one of the key features of five G. The essence of network slicing is to be able to effectively cater to a diverse set of use case categories and customers in an optimal manner. 3GPP also defined slice management functions at three different levels. CSMS is responsible for translating the communication service related requirements to the network slice related requirements. It is also responsible to communicate with the network slice management function, the NSMF. NSMF is responsible for the management and orchestration of NSI. It derives the network slice subnet related requirements from the network slice related requirements. It also communicates with uh, the NSSMS and CSMS. NSSMS is responsible for management and orchestration of NSSI. It is domain specific. So we have cleared up the key requirements of the network slice management here. Firstly, the demand of a slice is customized. It undertakes the QoS and QoE of different customers and the vertical industries, including the connected home, autonomous vehicles, smart cities, remote healthcare, and so on. Each of this category have a different set of performance requirement like the latency, the throughput, reliability, and availability. They also have different set of um, characteristics uh, like the mobility and the resource sharing level. So talking about the resource sharing level, the resources at VNF, NS, NSSI, and NSI level could be shared in an optimal manner and shape the network dynamically to meet the demands of various services. The resource of slices should be shared and the slice is logically isolated. So different kinds of network services should be designed, configured, implemented, and managed in an automated manner. It should be virtualized and cloud deployment. The slice orchestration functionality is actually an enabled for the network automation and should play an important role in the quick service rollout. The network slice management should also be easy to use. It should also be definable and uh, extensible. So the most convinced way is to align with the standard, both in modeling aspects or the interfaces and the interfaces. For the real deployment, the operators have different preference. For example, they may choose a third-party NSSMF or an independent developed NSSMF. So the solution we provided should be loosely coupled building blocks that could provide the flexibility for various 
deployment scenarios. The network intelligence should also be taken into considered from business level to operation level to the network elements. Our final goal is to realize the autonomous network in which we could provide the intent-based service management and self-ex capabilities such as self-optimization and self-hailing. The open network automation platform actually uh, satisfy all the above demands. So considering all of these aspects, China Mobile, together with um, lots of active members in ONAP community, such as Vapro and Huawei, initiate this very complex use case, the E2E network slicing use case in ONAP. They, uh, and in total, we have 15 active companies around the whole world participating in this use case. And um, nine companies among them have made uh, code contribution in the past releases. The overall objectives of this use case are uh, firstly to implement the ONAP-based slice management functions defined by 3JPP, the three-layer uh, management functionalities. And we also want to demonstrate the E2E slice design instantiation and operation, including RAN, core, and transport slice subnet. Thirdly, we also want to provide the flexibility, the, the, the flexible architecture choices to operators for a deployment scenario. Uh, if they want, they could choose uh, an ONAP-based XMF or uh, to choose a third-party XMF. Uh, this page uh, has depicts the specific standards name we have referenced and implemented in this use case. Uh, so back to this page, uh, as you can see that the interaction between say SMS and the OSS uh, and BSS system uh, is uh, aligned with TMF standard. Uh, the interaction between say SMF and NSMF, as well as uh, the interaction between an SMF uh, and the RAN and SSMF, as well as the core and SSMF, is aligned with uh, 3GPP standard. Uh, for transport uh, interaction, the connection between the NSMF and the transport and SSMF is aligned with uh, IETF uh, TSCI model. And the whole closed loop framework is um, actually aligned with uh, ETSI DSM framework. Uh, also from uh, the South Bond of uh, RAN and SSMF, the interaction between RAN and SSMF with RAN domain is also aligned with ORAN uh, community. Okay, I will skip this page. And for um, the current status of E2E network slicing use case, so if we look from the architecture point of view, in Frankfurt release, uh, which uh, started uh, almost uh, two years ago, we have implemented the CSMF and an SMF within ONAP. Also uh, connect to an external core and SSMF. And then in its uh, second release, uh, which is Guilin release, 
uh, based on Frankfurt deliveries, we have provided the uh, ONAP based RAN and SSMF. Uh, ONAP based transport and SSMF and ONAP based core and SSMF. We also provided the choice to connect to an external RAN and SSMF. So you can see that after these two releases, we have provided the basic structure of the three layer ONAP based slice management functions. And started from uh, starting from this year, uh, which is uh, the Honolulu release and beyond releases, uh, our focus is uh, on the enhancement of the existing functions and uh, uh, the extension of the closed loop scenarios. Uh, if we look from the NSI lifecycle point of view, lifecycle management point of view. In Frankfurt and Guilin release, our uh, scope uh, are focused on the preparation, commissioning, and decommissioning phase. The focus area for Honolulu release and beyond release uh, is the operation phase, uh, which we mainly focus on the closed loop scenarios. This page describes the closed loop structure of ONAP. And you can see that the word in bracket is the name of uh, the ONAP modules playing the respective roles of uh, a closed loop. We leverage the SOM framework within ONAP to provide a general closed loop framework. The closed loop framework within ONAP is composed of building blocks such as data collection and analysis, optimization, coordination, and decision, and then the action. Uh, actually, uh, as uh, you may all know, that the, clo the closed loop framework could be used to realize the intelligent, to realize many intelligent slicing scenarios such as uh, the slice KPI monitoring, the KPI guarantee, and the uh, SLA guarantee. And I will also talk more uh, later in this presentation. For the current status of closed loop functionalities, what we have done uh, are uh, the basic life cycle management of uh, a slice, including the design, creation, activation, deactivation, and termination. We also have uh, provided uh, the basic uh, process of the NST selection and NSI and NSSI selection, which uh, actually are used in many stages of uh, our NSI life cycle. For example, during the creation phase and for modification, we both could use uh, the NSI or NSSI selection. And uh, it is started in Frankfurt release and uh, from Guilin release, we have focused on uh, support more complex scenario in the NSI and NSSI selection by uh, introducing more parameters. The PM and FM data collection is also what we have done, uh, which is a basic process to support the further KPI calculation and the slice analysis. And then uh, in Guilin release, we have started the uh, structure building of the slice analysis microservice and the KBI cal calculation microservice, uh, as well as the network capability report. And uh, these two microservices, actually we have finished the basic structure uh, in DCAE module and uh, the enhancement will be continued in the following releases.
So uh, as we talk about that uh, uh, in the requirement uh, page, uh, that our final goal is to provide an autonomous network. And we believe that the intent-based network is in such pattern. So we also explore the end-to-end -end and in core transport subnet slicing based on intent, which uh, could provide capabilities such as self-instantiation, uh, dynamic adaption, uh, self-prediction, uh, root cause identification, and self-healing, and so on. And if we map to the NSI lifecycle management, the intent-based network slice instantiation and lifecycle management should be provided. Uh, for example, in commissioning phase, the instantiation or reuse of appropriate slice could be based on self-learning. And the closed loop uh, automation should have uh, the advanced capabilities such as machine learning based prediction, root cause identification, and self-adaption. If we look into uh, the standard definition such as uh, 3GPP and TMS. The intent is uh, the formal specification of all the expectations, including the requirements, goals, and the constraints. It expresses the expectations that need to be fulfilled without paying attention to how to realize them. The ONAP community also has started the exploration of intent-based network framework since last year, and uh, there has been lots of discussion in the community about uh, how to position the IBM framework. And uh, one of uh, the ideal solutions could be defining a general intent process system within ONAP. The user intent from the North Bond will be uh, converted to the general intent and uh, go into the intent process system. The intent processing system will uh, then realize the functionalities described in the left box by interacting with uh, the existing ONAP modules and uh, then to convert the general intent to uh, other system intent and also interact with uh, other uh, systems and intent systems. Uh, in the end way of this presentation, we also provide a, a network slice intelligence roadmap. And of course, some of them may go in parallel. Uh, actually, we have uh, started the first step, the second step, and the final step, step in parallel, uh, which is uh, researched and held by other teams. And uh, for runtime monitoring, uh, as I have said, we uh, actually have explored the uh, KPI monitoring functions to evaluate the KPI fulfillment in real time, predict and analysis using uh, the AI method. For a uh, closed loop update, uh, we actually now could support some, uh, some um, simple scenario in RAND domain to adjust or update the resource configuration of uh, the slice subnet in a closed loop way. And the third step uh, in our blueprint is to uh, uh, actually, it is in the commissioning phase to determine the initial resource assignment and configuration for a new slice by intelligent analysis based on SLA requirement. Uh, I believe this 
functionality could be fulfilled uh, after our KPI communication computation microservice and the slice analysis uh, microservice uh, supporting a more uh, fundamental uh, functionalities. And the SLA guarantee is actually uh, our goal of uh, the slice management. No matter um, whether we introduce an intent uh, driven solution, our goal for this slice is actually to guarantee the uh, slice SLA. Uh, to guarantee the slice LA, SLA fulfillment of the tenants and then to dynamically adjust the service capabilities of the network slices by using the optimal resources. And for the intent driven solution, which is also our uh, final goal of uh, the network slice intelligence. Uh, as I have said, uh, this has uh, been explored uh, in parallel, and I believe that uh, this uh, is not only uh, good for network slicing, it could also be used in many other scenarios to use the intent to describe uh, the expectation of a slice service to uh, to express the expectation of the customer and ignore the technical uh, details. So uh, that's all for today's session. And thank you very much for uh, listening. Thank you very much for your time. Bye.